This story starts with grief and ghosts and finds its way to ancient wisdom and universal consciousness. Interest in the potential of consciousness began more than 150 years ago in the U.S., long before physics began to challenge conventional notions of reality with experimental proof. A new craze swept the country, belief in premonitions, dreams, and messages, suggesting a spiritual reality that existed alongside the material world. People were hungry for proof of immortality and sought it in communication with the other side. Visible forces knocked over tables, made musical instruments and people fly through the air or even materialized. Most people were skeptical. Some became violent or abusive. But psychic explorers continued to investigate, witnessing unexplained phenomena in controlled environments and interviewing mediums apparently linked to them. One of them was Henry Steele Olcott, who visited Vermont in 1874. He spent weeks in Chittenden, a small community near Rutland, on assignment for a New York newspaper to unravel the mystery surrounding the spirits and William Eddy, a medium who had been producing manifestations since childhood. While there, Olcott met a well-traveled occultist, Helena Blavatsky, who had followed the story and introduced him to fresh explanations based on ancient wisdom. He had also consistent with recent and indeed future scientific discoveries. In 1974, I lived less than two hours away. For the last half century, I've conducted research, written factual accounts, as well as a novel based on the Vermont mediums and the meeting of Blavatsky and Olcott. Commenting on what he learned in Vermont, Olcott once predicted we are now so near the verge of the chasm that divides the physical from spiritual science that it will not be long before we bridge it. Both Blavatsky and her remarkable multidisciplined synthesis, Theosophy, were compelling. An occult pioneer, she was a godmother of the modern New Age movement. She viewed her destiny as the bringing of the secret doctrine knowledge she also called occultism, Brahmavidya, wisdom religion and divine magic, to a materialist yet psychically fertile Western world. Spirits of the dead rarely return to earth, she explained years later. Rather, such materializations are usually the astral double of the medium or someone present. Within a year of their Chittenden visits, Blavatsky and Olcott founded the Theosophical Society, which developed chapters worldwide over the next decades and continues its work to this day. My new book retells their remarkable story.